day you guys will actually get to see me make my famous cheesecake. You guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share with your family, and keep coming back for these bangers. We got the recipes, the family vlog. But remember, the Livingston Gang, we love you. Stay tuned, guys. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm making my, my crust. I use the graham cracker crumbles to a stick of butter. I use at least a cup of the graham cracker crumbs. I use a half a cup of sugar. No, sorry, one fourth cup of sugar and a whole stick of butter. And it just kind of makes some like very fine stuff like that. But you have to keep mixing until it gives it like a sand kind of texture. And as you can see, I already have my pan prepped for the crust. And then I'm going to stick my crust in the oven for five minutes. So it can at least, you know, solidify and everything like that. And then you're going to take it out and just sit and let it cool, okay? I'll be back, guys. So the recipe that I'm cooking is the cheesecake. You need two eggs. A half a cup of granulated sugar, two packages of Philadelphia full fat cream cheese, you need a teaspoon of vanilla, make sure it's pure vanilla, not the imitation vanilla because that's not going to be good. You need a teaspoon of lemon juice, a half a cup of sour cream. You're going to have your oven on 325. Stay yes. tuned, guys. You want to blend. <laughs> With stuff, mama. You want to scrape down your sides to make sure that everything is fully incorporated. And then you're going to blend a little bit more. Stay tuned, guys. So you guys remember this crust that we had in the oven? It is all dried and crisped up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cheesecake batter and we're just going to pour it into the crust evenly. You do not want a lumpy cheesecake. Okay. Now, like I said, this is just my recipe. Some people, you know, add more. Some people take away. Um, this has worked for me, my friends, my customers. You know, everybody seems to love this recipe. So I decided that I would share it with you guys here. In case, you know, because the holidays are coming up and I know... You're going to need something to take to, you know, the Christmas dinners and, you know, stuff like that. So, this is basically a fail-proof cheesecake. And remember, your oven is going to be on 325. And your oven should have been already preheated at 325. So, like I said, we're just smoothing it out, making sure everything is... Well, even we're going to give it a, a knock to get all the air bubbles out. And then we're going to put it in the oven at 325 for 40 minutes. See you guys when it comes out. So 
guys, I, I almost forgot one little small tip that I normally do for my cheesecakes. I add a teaspoon of all-purpose flour to it just so it can hold up. So I decided while the cheesecake was cooking that I can show you guys how I make my cheesecake salad. Um, this is just some of the cheesecake that I already had in the freezer from an order that I had, I want to say two or three days ago. So you just chop it up. It's nothing too hard. Anybody can do this, you know what I'm saying? Or you can buy the cheesecake, but you know, my customers have a specific taste for my cheesecake, so I use my own cheesecake to, um, to make these. But you just chop them into little chunks, and you add fruit and white chocolate and nuts if they want nuts. Um... You know, it's a pretty easy dessert, and it is so freaking tasty. You know what I'm saying? Um, I normally get a lot of people that like this because it has a lot of fresh fruit in it. Um, but the cheesecake itself is, I think, the reason why they keep coming back. <laughs> So we add red and green grapes to the, um, and you just chop those up into little chunks also. I prep everything before, <laughs> before I came on so that this video is not too long. But you just pretty much, you know, just chop up the fruit in the middle of the cheesecake. This is a 13 by 9 pan. So this pan normally sells for me for $20 to $25. And that's that's just kind of like a special that I'm running as of recent because a lot of people have been ordering. So it's kind of like a customer appreciation thing. But they normally go for like $45. I have some green grapes. And you just kind of building... A salad you know what I'm saying you don't just stack everything you know right in the middle you're building a salad and so you have to also think about color so I have blueberries strawberry purple grapes you know you're building a salad so you think about hey do I want a one a one-sided salad I mean a one color salad no You know, so then we're going to go back in with some more green grapes because, you know, we're lacking a little green in there. And then I'm going to start chopping up my strawberries. We do not put the stem in. I have to say that because I've had actual, you know, cheesecake salad that has had whole strawberries in it. That is not cute. People just want to go ahead and dive in and bite, not have to go in and do your work that they pay you to do, you know. Um, so, you see how the color is coming in? It's actually looking like, you know, really cute and real fruity and stuff. Again, stem off. And you take your strawberry and we're going to cut it into four and then we're going to cube it up so cube it up not too small not too big you know you want it to be bite-sized but you also don't want them to get like i got a whole a whole bunch in my mouth and yes i pre-washed <laughs> my um fruit i don't want nobody trying to shave me in the comments All my fruit is pre-washed. This is not straight out of the pan. Pre-washed. Pre-wash that fruit. That fruit is nasty. I don't care where you got it from. It's nasty. 
I even got some blueberries, guys. So we have a lot of contrast to our salad. And then, like I said, it is topped with white chocolate. So if it wasn't sweet enough, it's definitely going to be sweet. You know, we're just trying to add up some more strawberries. Then we're going to layer again with cheesecake. And you just keep, you just keep going. Cheesecake, layer, salad, layer, cheesecake, layer, salad, layer. Until you, you fill it up to your, de your desired, um, your desired. We're making the salad. The cheesecake came out. So we're going to let this cool for three minutes three to five minutes or 30 30 minutes and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for three hours and you're just going back into what we were doing stem off and yes my hands are clean i had to take the gloves off and then i realized i didn't have any more gloves but these hands are well set how your cheesecake salad is going to come out it's being drizzled already and everything so easy to make guys like literally the only way you can mess up is if you mess up um i will come back and show you guys once the cheesecake is finished cooling how it looks stay tuned guys our cheesecake is all Cooled. So we're moving it off of our spring corn pan and putting it inside of this big box because I didn't have any smaller boxes. But there you have it. She's good. You guys don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and leave me a comment on the bottom. So we can get to a thousand subscribers. See you guys later. Peace.